Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And Kamala Harris campaign is an absolute shambles. They have this upcoming debate with President Trump, which is going to highlight to the rest of the nation of how much of an idiot she actually is and how she is not fit to be running anything, let alone being vice president. Remember, just a little while ago before Joe Biden in, uh, just decided to go ahead and drop out, forced out, uh, of the race, uh, Kamala Harris was uh, regarded by many on both Democrats and Republicans being one of the worst vice presidents ever. And then all of a sudden she's the second coming of uh, Barack Obama. No, that doesn't happen. Right. And and the polls are showing that reflectively in CNN, MSNBC, even, uh, you know, Nate Silver, who runs uh, five was it five thirty eight, uh, who has been uh, pretty spot on on most of his models for the last few election cycles. Uh showing Trump just continuing to gain momentum while that post bump from the convention for Kamala Harris, there wasn't one, right? Because people understand that she's not genuine, that she's a chameleon and she'll uh, anticipate and try to, and try to change with anything. There was, it was a video out there showing her uh, doing her black accent versus her white accent to two different crowds because she thought that's what you needed. You never get that with Trump, right? You don't ever get Trump doing two different accents to appease the crowd. Trump is Trump. Trump is going to talk the way Trump talks no matter what. He doesn't need to sit there and try to pander to you, uh, right? He he comes with his ideas. He comes with his policies, which I, Kamala Harris doesn't have any. However, now with the CNN polling uh, showing right before this upcoming debate, there is panic inside of the Kamala's camp. Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, video uh, over here from CNN as they lay out what is currently going on? Let's take a listen. Results end up being Kamala Harris would win this election with 292 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 246. But let's just say we move the current polls and let's say the result differs by them by a single percentage point and Donald Trump is the beneficiary of it. Look at this. If Trump outperforms his current polls by just a single point, you take that Kamala Harris win and look at this. Donald Trump gets 287 electoral votes because the bottom line is Pennsylvania would flip up here and you would also get this flip out in Nevada over here. And that, my friends, is what we're talking about. We are talking about the closest campaign in a generation where a single point could make all the difference in the world. John, this is a truly exciting race right now where any slight movement can make all the difference in the world. Absolutely. And also understand this. Trump always gets under uh, polled, right? It's always under polled with Trump. He always overperforms the polling that is out there about him. And so knowing that, the internals for Kamala Harris's campaign must be brutal. This is why, again, she is not doing very many interviews. This is why she's avoiding the press. This is why she's doing all these things, because any slip up from her revealing who she is is so damaging to her campaign, it will absolutely sink it. And I think that's what's going to happen with this upcoming debate, which Kamala Harris did try to get out of so many different times, tried to change the rules after the rules were uh, agreed upon by both parties, trying to change the rules so she can have her girl boss moment. Uh, I'm speaking now, which she isn't not going to get now because the mics are muted when the other person talks. So therefore, there is no moment for her to get this. And Donald Trump is the best debater uh, in the political sphere at this moment. Uh, he absolutely just brutalized Joe Biden in that last debate that they had. And with these same exact rules, everyone said, oh, Trump is going to be doing horribly because he won't be able to talk over Joe. It actually worked out perfectly, and I think it will as well for this upcoming debate. Anyway, you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great.